This is the first product of the new manufacturer, MW Motors from the Czech Republic. In front, the Luca EV resembles the classic Volkswagen Carmen Gia Coupe. While the rear design is inspired by the Ashton Martin DB4, to reach the impressive curb weight under 1,800 pounds, the Czechs made the chassis of rectangular aluminum tubes and used fiberglass reinforced plastic for the body. The car's powertrain consists of four 12.5 kilowatt motors mounted on each wheel. Such a risky decision further reduced weight and improved efficiency, so Luca EV covers up to 186 miles of range on a single charge, while its top speed is estimated at 90 miles per hour. The all-electric exclusives by the Finnish Retro EV are created using only authentic parts of the classics from the 50s to 70s era and are enhanced with the brand's proprietary EV technology. Currently, the Retro EV's lineup consists of seven iconic models of the Triumph, MG, Rolls-Royce, and Bentley makes. Every build has a single charge range from 78 to 93 miles insured by the PowerPod smart battery system with a smart charging option. Performance-wise, however, even the most powerful and expensive Bentley and Rolls-Royce models feature a relatively modest powertrain of 230 ponies and 370 pound-feet of torque. If you are tired of waiting till Ford will finally decide to introduce electrification tech into the Mustang muscle car, then the British Charge Automotive might have something in store for you. Based on the original 1960 Fastback and convertible Mustangs, the all-electric Charge models are equipped with EV tech from a rival. Their electric motors peak at 470 horses while the 64 kilowatt hour battery is good for 200 miles on a charge and is compatible with a 50 kilowatt hour charging infrastructure. The production of the Charge Mustang will be limited to 499 units with its exclusiveness further highlighted by the outrageous price tag of $370,000 before options. This cute Honda hatch premiered in its concept form in 2017, while the production-ready car debuted only in September 2019. In addition to its puppy-eyed exterior and high-tech cabin, the four-door Honda E now offers perfect 50-50 weight distribution and rear-wheel drive, so it should be a blast driving around town. It gets two power outputs, 134 and 150 horses, but only one battery option. It allows for 137 miles of driving and can be recharged in 35 minutes with a 50 kilowatt hour charger. Unlike the previous e-prototypes, the production car gets standard 16 inch and optional 17 inch wheels and its grille is no longer illuminated.
Volkswagen had once started a van revolution with its Westfalia camper, and it plans to do this all over again with the new ID Buzz, featuring a design inspired by the iconic Type 2 microbus. This electric concept sits on a new MEV platform and combines retro and futuristic styling seamlessly. While the six-seater may seem like a one-off concept that will never get to mass production, VW assures it is not. The brand promises to launch the van by 2022 with two different powertrains, one getting 369 ponies, all-wheel drive, and 270 miles of range, and the other featuring rear-wheel drive, 268 horsepower, and 200 miles. the famous Spanish manufacturer shown in the pre-war years. Ranking at the same level as Rolls-Royce, and in 2019, it presented a new model destined to mark the revival of the company. The Carmen is built on the ultralight, handmade carbon monocoque chassis. Its drivetrain consists of two electric motors mounted on the rear axle with a total capacity of 120 horsepower. The extremely low aerodynamic drag coefficient helps Carmen to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds, while its top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour. When it comes to retro conversions and modern restorations, the Mini Hatch is one of the favorite platforms of custom shops. However, this UK-based brand decided that it is not enough to simply restore the 1959 car and equipped it with an all-electric powertrain. Instead of the original 35 horsepower engine, the model received a new 107 horsepower motor and an underseat 24 kilowatt hour battery good for 125 miles. By removing the fuel tank, the company increased the boot space to 7 cubic feet, which is only 0.4 cubic feet less than in a modern Mini. The e-legend concept by the French automaker was revealed under the hashtag Unboring the Future. It has the ambitious aim to prove that autonomous does not mean monotonous. While the model's design is inspired by the classic Peugeot 504, the more aggressive styling gives it a muscle car look and the likes of Mustang GT. The retro elements are only reserved for the exterior, as inside, the coupe is packed with cutting-edge tech. There are 16 screens in the cabin, including a 49-inch main display and displays indoors and sunshades. The E-Legend has four driving modes, with two of them being completely autonomous. Infiniti and Nissan Motor Corporation 
unveiled this open-wheeled retro roadster named Prototype 9 at the 2017 Pebble Beach Show. The designers were inspired by the cars of the 1940s era, distinguished by the ultimate functionality and purity of lines that pursued solely one goal, speed. The car body was built by hand, molding and bending steel panels to the perfect condition. However, under the long hood, it's all modern, equipped with a prototype electric motor, which produces 148 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. All this power is transferred to the rear wheels through a single-speed transmission.